In this video, we're going to show how to add a product option through the online control panel. Once you've logged into your admin section, click on the product options link on the left hand side. Then choose new option. The option name is the one which will appear on the product and product detail pages. The working name is for internal use only, so if you have a lot of color sets, for example, make this one so it's easy to distinguish from the others. You can choose to show a drop down menu of options, radio buttons, or multiple choice purchase options where you can add quantity to the boxes given. Here we're using radio buttons. You can force the customer to make a selection. You can have a default selection or not. You can put them in a single line or, and or you can use a please select line first. Enter the options you want to appear. Here we're doing some simple colors. If there's a price difference for the option, enter the value here. For example, a red option here will cost five dollars or pounds or whatever more. The whole, there may be a difference in the wholesale price that can be added there, and that can also be added as a percentage. The same is, is as if there's a weight difference in the options that you've entered. Again, these can be entered as percentages if you prefer. It is possible to set stock level on the options or on the main product itself. Here we're setting it on the options. Now choose Options Alternates. You see the options there. The Output ID column is there if you want each product option to have its own ID. We'll leave that blank here for the moment. The Out Image field is if the product picture changes when you choose a selection. So for example here, if you chose a blue shirt, a blue image would appear in place of the default. The alt image is for the product page, alt large image for the detail page. We can fill in the other values later. You can have more options per page. Here there's 10, you can add 10 more if you want to. But when you finish, click submit. You see the option we just set up here. If you want to make a new option from the one we've just set up, use the clone option by control and modify. Now, let's add the option to the product. So go onto the product admin page, modify the product we're going to change, and select the one product option. Choose the new option from the drop down. And now we'll set stock by options. Click Submit, and we've now added one new product option to a product.